the analytics department, especially as inconsistent as the Bulls can be, right? I mean, they've got shooters, but they don't take enough shots. Now, both these teams rank in the top six in offensive pace. Oklahoma City, 13.8 seconds per possession. Chicago, six in offensive pace, 14 seconds per possession. Interestingly, they're both kind of near the bottom in uh, in defensive pace, if you will, meaning the opponents actually maximize their time on the shot clock. In the, uh, I don't know if that's a sign of good defense necessarily, especially in OKC's case. There's room for improvement, obviously, for both these teams defensively. They did meet back on November 25th. Final score was 123-119, well over the total, although that game did go overtime. But still, seven out of the last nine meetings between these two clubs have gone over. Chicago's also 3-8 uh, and eight to the over versus sub-500 teams in their last 11 attempts in that role. And uh, Oklahoma City, they've gone over, Tony, in six straight games now, 26-16 and 16 to the over this season and dating back to last season. The Thunder have hit their team total over in 44 of their last 68 games. So I'm going to go over in this one with OKC in Chicago. Got to overcome uh, that DeRozan absence. He's got a quad injury. Interestingly, hold off, guys. I mean, when he actually gets announced officially out, we may actually get another point or two out of it. Uh, I think it might be baked into the line a little bit because he is doubtful, but we're seeing some of these injuries, Tony, where the injury report comes out and players are getting a downgrade. Even though we kind of know uh, the story, we're still seeing a little bit of movement in reaction to the news. So I think that could happen again today since he's not officially ruled out. And, of course, there's a chance with a quad injury that he could, you know, find a way to the lineup. Doesn't look good today, but... Uh, that that type of injury certainly is one where uh, you know it, it could change uh, more quickly than not, but doesn't look good for Demar today. So need Zach Levine, need Vooch probably. Also, uh, Mu probably can uh, do something. I think a pretty good matchup tonight. Also uh, for Caruso, the Caruso could be on tonight. That's what we need a little bit. But you're right, Tony. Watch out, OKC. They certainly good, are good at getting numbers, and uh, they're getting uh, a few points here, as you as you noted. I think they're getting five points or so. Yeah, we're getting five anywhere to four and a half. I know it opened at five. I saw it tick down here to uh, uh, to four and a half, and I'll look up the numbers right now to see where it is going. I will note here at OKC as. Uh, Covered only twice in five attempts in back-to-backs this season. I don't know what, if they were favored or a dogs. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I am seeing four and a half. The, the, uh, sharp, the one of the sharp books out in in the uh, offshore land here at four now. Uh, so we're seeing uh, we're starting to see. And we'll see if they, if they follow here. This is one of the leaders here. This is where the line opens. <laughs> yeah, they're at four right now. So uh, we're seeing a lot Hard of to- steam here down to the to, to the to, to the OKC side. Hard to fade these guys, Tony. I mean, when they, when you when you go to your money maker consistently, right? I mean, uh, you just see OKC Road Dog, and it's almost a I don't know, it's almost an automatic pull the trigger uh, when you're talking about a percentage that they're you know hitting at right now uh, over six, uh, you know, covering basically two thirds of the road games. I mean, that's uh, you know something that I look at. I mean, uh, maybe you know some people are not so big into trends. I mean, that one's just too hard to ignore. This team plays well uh, on the road, getting points. I mean, that's that's what you like. You like getting a few points with teams that try hard, and you know you got a big time. You got a big time star in SGA. Uh, I, 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 you know the word's out. I mean, you know it's no secret, but I'd still consider him an underrated uh, superstar in this league. Certainly, uh, you know when you think of the top top stars, but if he keeps playing like this. I think everyone will recognize him already, you know, as a top five scorer in the league. But, uh, you know, he's starting to get his just due uh, right now. But Josh Giddy really has been the guy over the last uh, dozen or so games that's really turned it up a notch for sure. Uh, Giddy's been a a cool story uh, really right now. All right, we're all waiting for this, and we got it in here. We got our our, um, morning steam uh, Chicago Bulls expert in chime in with this game butterscotch comes in here and you ready for this he likes okc covering tonight 
See, I told you guys that Tony watches every show eventually. Uh, we didn't coach him up on that. He watches the show. We know we tout Butterscotch uh, in there as our uh, Bulls guy, and uh, it's not a it's not a bias at all. I mean, we we you know you figure the Bulls and their spread record, and you know Scotch ba- says, quite frankly, I'm fading my Bulls again, again, two times, three times, and then he'll come in on them. He'll tell us when the Bulls are ready. And I told you, Tony, a lot of times we all know that uh, there's a few teams that we cover, and you mentioned it. It's kind of that local influence, right? I mean, you get you read a little bit more. You read your own. Uh, you know, daily newspaper, or I should say websites nowadays, but, uh, you know, you read those local beat writers, you get just a little bit better feel for those teams uh, as well. So I will mention one, Tony, uh, looks like the Pistons and Pelicans are currently on the move a little bit lower here, possibly uh, coming in maybe a little steam right there as well. But tonight's pick, Bulls and Thunder. We're going over uh, a little bit big number. You know, some of the send-out number was quite lower. Uh, the send-out was about five points lower than this. So can't make it a premium here, but uh, I do have it going over. All right, uh, we got Ramon here. Thunder Bulls over 234. This one will have a start time here of... 8 Eastern time. All right, Ramon, let's take a look over at TonySpeaks.com for nice action. Good results in the NBA last seven days tonight. We got a good NBA card on the board here with a nine-game card. We have uh, about a little more than a dozen from college hoops at NHL as well. What do you have going over at Tony Space? I'm in that college hoop card for sure. I'm coming off a decent night in college basketball. I got a five-pack, uh, including uh, one standalone game as well, a college basketball early start. That's my $15 special there. That's a 5 Eastern, 4 Central, 2 Pacific start in the Ivies with a pretty good ball game, by the way, between Yale and Cornell. Both teams already uh, nearing 10 games over 500 to start the season. So got that one up for $15. Then a five-pack tonight uh, in the uh, NCAA, including the late game out west, Tony, Utah State, Nevada, a good one in the Mountain West trying to keep pace with San Diego State. Both these teams have one loss uh, currently. We know the Aztecs already off to a 4 0 start in conference. Also, tonight, uh, Tony, <laughs> a, a three pack there in the NBA for $30. Uh, three games I've isolated on, you know, nine, nine game card, but uh, only coming through with the three-pack. I'm not sure I'll be able to get anything else together uh, in that one. I'm not calling it a tough card necessarily, but uh, just three games that I like maybe better than the rest on the board. And I don't want to water it down too much because I like these three games uh, better. And one on the ice tonight, Tony. That's my best bet over there of the day. And uh, that's going to come to you in uh, one of the late games tonight. Uh, on the card, there's one early game and two late games on that three-game NHL card tonight. So I know we're loaded up tomorrow on a big NHL card for sure. Uh, I dare I say, I want to say there's 12 or 13 games on that uh, on hockey night tomorrow night. So we'll be heavy in action there, I would think, especially Mindy and I. Uh, seems like those cards we do come together a little bit on those premium consensus picks. Uh, for the NHL. So pick up my weekend pass. We got NFL. We got uh, UFC as well. Uh, haven't went back to the uh, tournaments yet uh, over in Australia, but definitely keeping an eye on those uh, as well. So maybe on a card like tonight uh, with the action coming up in a few hours and uh, maybe a little time on my hands with this light card, I'm certainly starting to look at Saturday's college basketball, but uh, maybe I can get something together in tennis tonight as we start to get close to uh, the next week of play uh, in Adelaide and elsewhere uh, on the tennis circuit. So really looking forward to the Australian Open with everybody there this time around. So Scotch, there it is. He has OKC getting the money here in this one. Yep, they're off the back-to-back. Maybe you you talked about the depth there uh, with Chicago. Certainly that hurts the offensive uh, side for uh, Chicago with the DeRozan's numbers, but uh, we'll see who can step it up. I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, you got uh, Caruso. You know, his numbers necessarily aren't there, but we know that he's kind of a microwave type of player 
for sure. So Williams maybe could have an okay matchup. Uh, he's matched up with uh, with uh, uh, Jalen Williams probably on the Thunder. So he might be able to get something going uh, there. And how about these picks coming in, Tony? I agree, Latifa. I agree with you there on that total in the late game. My pick is going to be on the side in that one. So I log on to Tony's picks, pick up my five-pack of college basketball tonight, get my premium play in that game between Utah State and Nevada. So that's kind of the fun of that, Tony. You know, you mentioned it. Uh, that's the thing about working with Mindy, though. You know, we come prepared already. Uh, she's already got her printouts on the day. You know, she's a high-volume handicapper. So uh, we're getting these requests in and, uh, you know, kind of going with it. So we might find another way to get these uh, – community members to get their request to us rather than having to work on the fly. Maybe we could get a discord together or something like that, where we can have uh, our community uh, have more interaction together, which uh, was an idea that I was going to run by uh, the crew or run by the uh, audience of the morning steam. Maybe they'd like a discord where we could all get together and uh, communicate and share more plays and information. That's probably what I would do is probably uh, give out more opinions, betting advice, or to take questions because uh, that's all, <clears throat> that's all I do. That's right, uh, guys. That's uh, right, get over right. there with uh, Ramon over at uh, TonySpace.com. A Friday night five pack there on the board right now from College Basketball. So get on board with them. Affordably priced at thirty dollars. Also NBA three pack as well on this uh, nine a game card. Of course, we've got that early uh, discount, uh, early start. I would assume it's probably that, uh, no, a st game started in an hour. That's right. We do have some Ivy, right, coming up in an hour. <clears throat> so we have a $15 discount play right, play right now here from uh, Ramon on the board, as well as a best bet on the NHL. So get on board here from Ramon Scott over at TonySpace.com. You may consider also the longer-term passes. I mean, the in yellow here, uh, they're not profit guaranteed. Again, we sell them at a discount. That is why. Uh, the three-day pass is a great value right now. Get all of Ramon's premium plays for three days included. There are all his NBA College hoops. We're going to be loaded again today and tomorrow and Sunday with college hoops. Right now, that's the focus as we head into into January into February and then March will be here before you know it. NHL and don't forget NFL. We got NFL here on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. If he's got that Monday game in there Sunday and the system on Sunday, you get that too. So I'm just saying uh, that three day pass here is a good value there. So go ahead and get on board with it. Ramon. You can use the promo code here. Uh, Tony T at checkout. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link in the description. Click the All Cappers tab, then get signed up. You'll save the 20% off when you enter that promo code, and you'll land it right here on uh, Ramon's handicapper page. You'll see, you know, his uh, profile there, and of course, you'll see the plays that are in orange, which are profit guarantee, which are the one-day passes. The longer term passes are not. So go ahead and get signed up. And again, the pick ticker we put on his on all the cappers. Pages. If you prefer, you may purchase the picks a la carte if you wish. You make the call over at Tony'sPicks.com, built for the user. All right, Ramon. Uh, uh, we also put together a uh, Twitter account for you over at Tony's Picks, Ramon. And of course, back on gone on Saturday with a big show here for the morning steam. Yeah, get my social media tonight. Play Tony. It's going to come to you. Mindy already gave you the side with our preview in the game between Eastern Michigan and Akron. If you want to know what kind of pace I think is going to happen in that game, head on over to my Tony's Picks Twitter account where I've got the total for you in that one between Eastern Michigan and Akron. So you can maybe play a little two-teamer there in that game with Mindy and I and see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, another week of morning steam on Saturday. We've already previewed the football game between – San Francisco and uh, Seattle and what we're doing is kind of like uh, the day before going over the uh, early NFL starts and we'll give you the late game on the actual day of the game give you a little bit of uh, actionable content on the day of the game as well so I uh, know we'll be Mindy mentioned it uh, you know heavy card tomorrow of course in the NHL and uh, NBA so we've got our work cut out for us we'll be hard at it getting ready for another show getting ready for a weekend show saturday and sunday really nfl taking center stage despite just a handful of games spread out over the three days i mean i think we're all pretty fired up but um, interesting tony man three double digit games it's a little bit uncomfortable not from a betting standpoint but uh you know NBA, it should be a little bit better i don't know dare i say a little bit better product 
uh, there. I mean, uh, you know. Well, you know, we've seen it. We've seen it before in the wild card. You know, I, I think as you add it, as you add another wild card, and you allow the second seed to play in the playoffs, you're going to see more and more of this. I think. Yeah, and one thing we've seen, I don't know, if, uh, you know, it's a direction that I'm going necessarily, but when you see these, you know, division winners with worse records as underdogs, they seem to be able to sometimes, uh, you know pull those upsets off or get the money anyway. And it's the other way around when they go in and, uh, you know, if the division winner is a, more of a, uh, you know, a big favorite, then they usually are able to handle things. So uh, just interesting to note, though, to have your playoff round with, you know, half the game's double-digit spreads does uh, seem a, a little bit awkward. But, well, again, you know, the spreads are increased, too, in the, in the playoffs. I mean, I think there is value on those dogs, Tone, in yeah, general. Yeah, the, the sixth seed used to be like the one that got in maybe with the game over 500. They were usually the big dogs. Now you're going to have situations where you got the seventh seed in. If we go to an eight seed when we allow the, the one seed to play, you have that one versus eight. Uh, match up there I, again you know it's football I mean I'm more comfortable if it's a best of seven even best of five but when you're anything can happen in one game we've seen it many times where uh, a, a bad team or not, I don't say a bad team but probably the lower the, the, the higher seed gets a win uh, in the opening round of a best of seven in the NBA and of course they don't end up winning the series <laughs> but this is this is football right one and done situation so we'll see how it plays out all right Mona's always uh, great having you on the show Continue that success, and we'll talk with you again uh, on Monday. Yep, thanks to everybody, and thanks to everybody in the chat for showing up. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate everyone there. Um, Ramon here on the on the game day.